So we'll see user profiles. So first we'll see what is an user profile. So guys, it is an environment or a space for a user to work on a computer. So if you want, if a user want to work on any computer, it, it required a space. That is space is called as user profile. Okay, so and desktop is the part of a profile. So when you log on to any device, you will get the desktop guys. Okay, you will get this space to work and the desktop is the part of a profile. And the user will perform all the tasks from desktop, like opening any application, accessing any drive, creating files and folders, etc. So from this desktop only, user will perform all, all the tasks. Okay, this is the space for the users to work. Okay. And uh, there are two types of user profiles. One is local user profile, the other one is local user profile. Let us try to understand the difference between these two types of profiles. First, we'll see what is local user profiles. So this local user profile is created when a user logs on to a computer for the first time. Okay, so when you log on to a computer for the first time, you will get these messages, which means it is creating the profile for you. Okay, and uh, the local user profile is stored on the computer's local hard disk. So let us say we have user one and he has logged on to this client one for the first time. So it will create the profile for user one and that profile is saved on the local hard disk of this computer. And changes made to this local user profile are specific to the user and computer on which the changes are made. So this user has logged on to this computer and let us say he has created one folder data. Okay, so this data will be created. It will be available on this computer only and it is available for this user only. Other users can't access it. And if this user try to access the other computer, he will not find this data folder. So it is specific to this user and it is specific to this computer only. So guys, who creates this local user profile? This local user pro profiles are created by the local operating system, not by server. So local operating system in the sense, let us say Windows 10 is installed on this client one. So when any user log on to this client for the first time, this Windows 10 operating system will create the local user profile, not the server. Okay. So if a, if a user logs on to a Windows Server 2022 machine, then Windows Server 2022 operating system will create the user profile. So let us say on this machine Windows Server, Two thousand twenty-two is installed, and any user log on to this computer. So Windows two thousand server twenty-two will will create the user profile, not this domain controller. And if a user logs on to Windows ten machine, then Windows ten operating system will create the user profile. And let us see where is the local profile saved. The local profile is saved on the local hard disk in C drive. Okay, so this is your C drive. In this C drive, this local user profile is saved and the path is C slash users. Okay, you will go to C, then you will click users and you will see multiple profiles here. Okay. And let us see the contents of a profile. So the profile contains user personal settings like 3, 3D objects. If you see here, 3D objects, this is the profile contents, contacts, desktop. As I told you, desktop is the part of profile. Documents, download, favorite, links, music, OneDrive, pictures, saved games, search videos, okay? And what is this 3D objects? Projects you work on in the 3D apps, will be saved in this 3D objects folder. 
okay and if you download anything it will be saved here and if you want to save the documents you will be you will save the documents here if you want to save the music you will save it here pictures you will save it here games videos okay so these are the contents of the local user profile and let us see which profile setting a user will get first as we have discussed when a user logs on to a computer he will get the desktop first you can see the profile folder on the desktop with username okay so this is the profile folder of a user on the desktop and user will perform all the tasks from the desktop like opening application accessing any drive creating files and folders etc so this is the desktop and he will get the desktop first after log on to any computer and guys is the profile is the local user profile secured so the local user profile is secured a user can't access the profile of other user so let us say we have logged on with bill and bill is trying to open the folder of jeff you will get this message you don't currently have permission to access this folder click continue to permanently get access to this folder so if you click it will ask for username and password so jeff will enter his username and password and the permission will be denied and why have a local profile when you can save the data on drive so guys we can save the data on drive what is the purpose of this local profile so if the user saves data on a drive it will be accessed by all the users so guys if you save any data on the drive this data will be accessed by all the users and to apply the security users depend on administrator so users need to contact the administrator to provide the security to this data folder but with a local profile users can save the data on their profile items okay they will go to desktop and they will save the data on desktop or they will save the data in documents or they will save the data in video and this data is secured without the help of an administrator so he will save the data and it is secured other users can't access it so it doesn't require administrator to secure this information okay if you see here bill is trying to open the jeff folder and it is getting this message here so data is secured by default you are not dependent on administrator with local user profile and uh, let us do the lab so first what we will do we will create new users user a and user b in active directory then what we will do we will log in with administrator to a client machine we will go to any windows 10 machine and we we'll log on with administrator then we will verify the user profiles you will not find user a and user b there because we have not log on with user a and user b so you will not find any profiles there after that what we will do we will log in with user a then verify the user profile so you will find user a profile because we have logged on with user a but user b profile is not there okay then what we will do we will create a folder on desktop okay we will create some data after login with user a then we will log on with user b and his profile will be created now you will find user a and user b profile as well but you can't access user a profile let us verify the things first so first we'll create user a and user b we'll go to the active directory let us log on to active directory we'll wait for a few seconds we'll let the server to settle down
फिर क्लिक होके so we'll go to server manager then we'll go to tools to create the username and password under this tools we will go to active directory users and computers then under this user users will right click new then user and we'll create user a user a and user logon name user a then we'll click next password never expire then we'll type one two three then we'll click next finish user a is created let us create user b so log on name will be user b then we'll click next password never expires 1 2 3 1 then we'll click next then finish these two users are created then what we will do we we'll log on to this workstation one with the administrator the password is 1 2 3 and we'll verify the profile so we'll go to this computer then we'll go to c then we'll go to users folder so this users folder will have the profiles of other computers so it doesn't have the profile of user a and user b then we'll log out from server administrator sorry we we'll log out from this administrator or let us switch the user other user then we'll type user a 1 2 3 so we are logging to this computer for the first time with user a so it will create the profile it will take some time after first log on okay so we are getting everything ready for you means it is working on profile so taking time
okay so we have logged on to this workstation one and you can see we have got our space we have got the desktop and desktop is the part of profile then what we will do we will set up the icons first we'll right click on a start button then we'll go to settings then we'll go to personalization then we'll go to themes under themes we'll go to desktop icon settings then we'll check the icons we'll click ok all the icons are available on the desktop all the icons are available here and this is the profile folder of user a if you double click on it you will get the contents of this user okay, this is the complete profile and if you want to see all the profiles then you will go to this pc under this pc you will go to c and under c you will you will go to users and under user we have administrator profile asip profile bill profile public and satya and user a profile is also created here so you can open this user a profile okay but when you try to access this satya profile you will get the error okay and if you continue it will ask you for username and password okay if you provide this user a then one two three if you click yes which means you are not allowed so to access this folder you need to provide the username and password of satya and what we will do now we will create a folder here on the desktop data folder Yes. Then we log out from user A. Then we'll log in with user B. Again, we are logging with user B for the first time to this workstation one. So again, it will start creating the profile. It will take some time to create the profile. Okay, so we have logged in with user B and we are getting only recycle bin on the desktop. Let us set, set up the icons. We'll right click on start button. We'll go to settings. Then we'll go to personalization. We'll go to themes, 
under themes, we will go to desktop icon settings. Then we'll check the icons. Then we'll click OK. And you'll see all the icons and you will see the user B profile on the desktop itself. Then you, if you click this user B profile, you can see all the contents here. Okay, and to see all the profiles, you will go to this PC, see users. And if you try to open the user A profile, you can't access it. Okay. So to access this profile, you need to have the user A username and password. Okay, so we have done all these four laps. Now guys, let us see how to check whether the profile is local profile or roaming profile. So we'll go to control panel. Then you will get this window. Then we'll search for profile. You will type profile here. Then you will get this option system. Under this system option, you will select this option, configure advanced user profile properties. Okay, once you click it, you will get this window. Under this window, you will see type local status local. If it is a roaming profile, you will see type roaming and status roaming. Let us verify. We'll go to the, sorry, we'll go to the client. Okay, then we'll go to control panel. We have logged on with user B and we need to check whether it is a local profile or roaming profile. So we'll type profile here. Then configure advanced user profile operation properties. And if you see here, the type is local and the status is also local, which means it is a local profile and everything will be saved on the local computer. So we'll see the local user profiles limitation. So the local user profile data is not accessible on other computers because it is created on a local computer. For example, if a user has created a data on client one. So let us say user one has created the data on client one. It will be saved on the local hard disk of client one. So it is saved on this local device. And if the same user logs on to another machine, he will not see the data folder there. So let us say user one has logged on to client two. He will not get this data because it is saved in on client one. And if you want the same profile to be accessible on all the computers in the domain, you should configure the roaming profile. So if your requirement is this user one should access his profile on all the computers. So if user one log on to client two, he should get this data. If user one has logged on to client two, he should get the same data. If the user one has logged on to client four, he should get the same data. Then we need to configure the roaming profile. 